Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to fix Mortal Kombat 11 crashing and closing issue after splash screen for Windows 10 end users. So if you have media feature pack for any edition of Windows 10 install on your computer and you are facing crashing and closing issue after the splash screen, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now in order to fix the problem, you have to go ahead and install the media feature pack for any edition of Windows 10 from here. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link. Scroll down and here you can see x86 based version of media feature pack. And then you have download the x64 based version of media feature pack. So whatever is your system, according to that, you can go ahead and download the particular version. So in order to check that, you can go to the start menu, then click on settings then go to system and then scroll down then click on above and here you can see what kind of system you have so here i can see its system type is 64 bit so if you, it is 64 bit go ahead and install this one and click on download click on this link it will go ahead and download the file once this is done click on it and run the exe file and once the installation is complete restart your computer and then try to launch the game so that should go ahead and fix the problem. Still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and set RGB peripherals and RGB key lighting to off. So go to this uh, location that is op uh, open file explorer, then go to this PC, then open C drive, then open the users folder, and then open your username folder, and then go to app data open app data if you don't see the app data then click on view and make sure the hidden item is checked over here once this is checked you'll be able to see app data open app data folder and then open the local folder and here you should be able to find mk11 folder so uh, open the mk11 folder over here find and open this folder and then find user settings dot ini folder uh, file so once you find user settings dot ini um, full, uh, file make a right click on user settings dot ini make a right click and then open it with notepad and then find rgb peripherals and set it to off and rgb key lighting to off and then go ahead and save it click on file then click on save and after that you can go ahead and try to launch the game so that should go ahead and fix the problem so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel